good day to everybody. I'm here with the one and only Blackbird today. Welcome along, Blackbird. And Blackbird's been here, I think this is the fourth month that Blackbird's yeah. been in the Santa Rosa area. And I don't know how, but I've never taken... bridge over there. There's part of the quarry. And there's the Russian River. Doesn't look too low. Somebody's got their school bus there. Nice way to live to park that. They got their canoe on top. Pretty cool. Of course it's too dangerous to go out here. You can see some of the grid <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd really walk on that. They used to have the side walking bridge. And then I think that got like a little sketchy here. But there's some people uh, down on the river. You can see them down there. There's people biking. It's just a cool place. He's Blackbird is going to just love this place. Here's the... That's the trail up to the quarry. Let's go down here and do a little exploring. Huh? What do you think? Pretty cool. They got the big quarry up there. Yeah, I want to ride my bike on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got, I got, I got cooler stuff to see than that right now. So there's all kinds of trails through here. It looks like bamboo there. People do. Uh, yeah, this is a good uh, 
outlaw golf course here. Beautiful down here. Watch your step. And they have picnic areas over on the other side there. So very, very cool. Got a doggy playing. Oh. What do you think, Bird? Pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> the old beautiful. bridge and stuff. I love the river. See, it's a good size. It yeah. doesn't look that big when you're at the Maryville, the Forest Hill. Yeah, it's, it's not that still. big. It's wide here, but well, in summer, this will really, uh, it's very, really very shallow, shallow out there. So let's walk down and take a look. notice about Healdsburg it's one of the I think it's like one of the friendliest towns although it's one of the wealthiest the people here are pretty cool and they, share, and and they seem to have very good spirits oh look that Everything. was the name of my boss's RV park the river Lynch. hope you enjoyed that beauty of the Russian River oh yes I love Hill. this river except I came in the summertime and it was kind of still yeah it was in forest well, it does get low, but it's beautiful. In the spring and summer, you can rent canoes here. River excursions and events. Kayaks, canoe trips. It's really nice. place in summertime it gets really warm you can set up beach chairs and umbrellas and enjoy the Russian River really nice I know you're happy seeing all this. If you come and visit Healdsburg, this is really a popular place that people come to hang out. It's called Wicked Slush. From the north end of Boston to the south end of Healdsburg. I've not tried the menu, 
but it's supposed to be pretty good. Well, look, I like the thing on it. So it's from yeah. the north end of Boston. So. That's it. From the <laughs> north end of Boston, and it's got the classic Italian ice. It's very thing. fancy wine town. Yes, 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 yes. You look Italian to me, Nona. As far as the dining scene is concerned here, you're going to find plenty of great Mexican restaurants and you're going to find what I call new cuisine. And a lot of the chefs like to come up here because this is really considered top of the line as far as dining in the county is concerned but of course anybody that knows me knows I pack in my own food need to play I don't need to uh, pay hoity-toity fancy pants prices hmm. thank you sweetie thank you one of my favorite places here in Healdsburg cool place to come and visit especially if you're all into the meat
cute little shops than you can shake a stick at. Take a walk down here. The uh, I'm not sure if the theater is still open. We're one block north of the square. No idea of some of these properties. 5.99 million. Okay.
since I was in China. That is really super cool. That's a real deal too. See this. Very cool. Hell, I, I couldn't even get one of these when I was in China. So that's the modern antiquarium here on Main Street in Healdsburg. Let's continue our look around, make our way down to the main square. Unfortunately, I believe the Raven Theater has now closed. This was a real landmark in Healdsburg. And I think they just do special events in here now. Heavy heart, we've closed the Raven up. I guess their goal is April. Okay. No outside food or drink allowed. There's something you haven't seen for a while.
And yes, yes, yes. You can expect to see a lot of really fancy cars here. Very cool car. Coming up to the main square in Healdsburg now. We're going to walk around the perimeter of the square. It'll take about 10 minutes, but you'll get a good idea of some of the shops here and a real flavor. And then we'll head into the park. They have the uh, gazebo, they have the fountains, and it looks crowded over there today. This is one of the most uh, well-known dining experiences here in Healdsburg, the Dry Creek Kitchen. It's always extremely popular. Peek at the menu here. 
Now you may be wondering where are the prices. Well, you definitely know the old saying if you have to ask. If the sides are $18 for potatoes, <laughs> you can imagine. Sorry for the bumping. Hundred fifteen for first in January tasting. <laughs> Told you it was fancy. They do have a very popular pizza place here. Pizzando. This is the Healdsburg Bar and Grill, which is always a very popular place for outdoor dining and beer. But there's another place I highly recommend if you're coming to visit Healdsburg, and it is called The Worst. And I've had this several times, and what they specialize in is all different types of bratwurst. It's really a great eating experience. You can look in my, just put uh, the worst, W-U-R-S-T, into my search box, and you will see my review of the worst. Sheboygan brats, hot thing, chicken apple, they're eight fifty, which I judge to be a pretty good bargain in this town. Smoked beer, vegetarian. Pino, Polish, Green Bay Brat, Chicago Dog, and of course they have burgers too, but it's a very, very popular place. Maybe one more time. Beautiful place. Wow. When did it open? This is another great place to visit if you're in town, the noble folk for ice cream and pies. Always very, very popular. And there's the town's grocery store.
Oakville Grocery, very well regarded for meats and specialty meats. And uh, evening, they light the fireplace there on the deck. Makes it a wonderful experience. We have one more side of our square here. Many, many, many tasting rooms. They have a really good barbecue here. This is it. I have to come and review this sometime. Kin smoke. The United States of Barbecue. By the pounds. Smoked wings. Burnt and it's delicious. But they've stopped pricing up the main events. So I guess they can reset them on the daily. Smoothie bar. have a very nice museum that's open here Wednesday to Sunday. You're always welcome to go in and check it out. This is one of these Carnegie libraries that was made possible through the generation of the steel baron, which some people would call the steel robber, Andrew Carnegie back in the late 1890s and early 1900s. One of these is in Petaluma and one of them is in Santa Rosa. There may be other ones, but they're all built on the same model. I think one of my favorite things in town, probably my favorite is all the different architectural styles, particularly 
the huge Victorians with the wraparound porches and this town seems to have more than well probably as many if not more than the town of uh, Petaluma. Let's take a look at a few of them now. Enjoy. <music> thing remains to be done today and that's uh, going over to the main square inside of the park and seeing what's going on. What a beautiful day here in Healdsburg. myths here in this town is you have these it's going to sound really sexist but the uh, joke is these very wealthy husbands that let their wives open these little boutique art galleries so they kind of get it out of their system and <laughs> kind of keeps them keeps them probably keeps them married right <laughs> 